Hello everyone, I'm Rec V5. And I am Sandman99. And welcome back to Madden NFL 2005 Crusaders franchise, year four, preseason week four. Yeah, and we don't have a replay to show you this time around. We don't. Because I uh, did not actually save any from practice games and stuff. Ah, well. So anyway, today we're going to have a quick look at the position battles. All right. But that's not where that is. It's in rosters, it's in I think. rosters, yeah. And it'll be position battles right at the very top. Right at the very top. Ooh. Okay. So, first of all, we have Herman, Rhodes, and Coleman for wide receiver two. Herman's going to be backing himself up. And Herman right now is the has the edge, although statistically Herman and Rhodes are very close. Must be the average per catch. I think it's the average per catch. Probably. Right, so that one still is a toss-up, right? Yep. And then we have Herman and Coleman for wide receiver three. I'm not sure why Rhodes isn't in the mix there, but Coleman has five catches for 30, 65 yards. So again, Coleman might actually have a bit of an edge on Rhodes, who's got four catches for 51 yards. Maybe he has more drops or something. <clears throat> yeah. And then we have at center, Winters versus Walker, and they have one pancake block each. Yep. Although I've been watching that position pretty closely. I don't know whether you have. You've been mostly focused on your run game. But what I've been watching is what happens when that guard pulls and how often a defender pops through the line. Yep. And it happens a lot less when Winters is playing. It happens almost never when he's playing. Yeah. So anyway, and then at cornerback, we've got Thomas, Mills, and Gooden for cornerback one. Ooh. So uh, Thomas has got 12 tackles and four knockdowns, and Mills has nine tackles and two knockdowns. So Thomas looks like he might be the cornerback one. Yep. And then we have Thomas, Mills, and Jones. And uh, again, Mills has nine and two. I don't know why they're both. I have for, no idea. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. And why isn't Gooden in there? Okay, we have a position battle at free safety as well, and Carswell is handily beating Miller. That's not a surprise. So far, he's got twice as many tackles. He was basically drafted for that position. Yeah, so we'll have to have a look at Gooden and Jones, uh, their statistics maybe, and just see what's going on there. So we'll have a quick look at uh, defensive... And uh, Gooden. there's Marco Gooden with seven tackles and one forced fumble. And no pass deflection. And no pass deflection. No wonder he's losing it. And Danny Jones has got four tackles and, and two, two pass, pass deflections. deflections. So That's why he's beating out uh, Gooden. Yeah, that could be why he is beating out Gooden for the uh, cornerback three position or something. Cornerback uh, two. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. This is going to be a test for the defense because we're up against the uh, Baltimore Hawks. Ooh, and they're an offensive team. Wow, looks like they're a defensive wow. team now, too. Look at that. They've, they've, they've improved their defense almost 10 points over last season. Shit. Wow. <laughs> so they could be a competitor. Look at that. And they're second in the league in passing offense right now, too, apparently. Yeah. Are they? Yep. Yeah, they are. And their rushing defense is great, apparently. Yep. They're third against the run. We're first against the run. See that? Yep. Wow. Okay, well, they can also run the ball, too, because I think they, they have uh, one of the notable running backs, too, right? Oh, okay, from, like, one of the all Madden teams? No, from their own team. Oh. Maybe. Anyway. Well, we'll have to see. I'm definitely going to start out trying the run game. And then if that doesn't work, I might switch over to the other run game. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because <laughs> because bad things happen when you go That's to right. the air. That's right. Bad things happen when you yeah. go to the air. I think I demonstrated that last game when I hit that one defensive player in the hands with the ball. Yeah. Okay. Rec V5X. And on defense, I'm, I actually have a work in progress playbook now. Because I'm still working on finalizing things. I see. I'm still not 100% happy with the way everything is. <clears throat> Fair enough. And so, my 
is now Sandman 99 work in progress. All right. So we'll have to see how that goes. I'm sure it'll work out just fine. Yeah. Well, we're first in the league in rushing yardage as well. And you're not doing too bad passing, actually. You're about middle of the pack. I suppose so, yep. <clears throat> yeah. I got to get more rushing yards, though. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with that. Uh-huh. Well. I got to get, like, 200 against these if, guys. If you can run against these guys, two of their players to watch are linebackers, so... A great atmosphere. <clears throat> we'll see how that works. They might have a very defensive-minded coaching style, too, because these guys would replace the Ravens, right? Yep, that's so. right. EA Sports is proud to present more They've got a Super Bowl capable team under normal circumstances. Yeah. And I believe that is Brian Billick still being their coach, right? So. And that's something they're probably not going to see this game a play action pass. I do have some in the playbook. Yeah, I know, but you probably don't run them any more than I do. I don't remember the last time I passed almost. <laughs> You did throw. You do throw a couple dozen passes a game, actually. Yep. I yep. want to throw less and run more. Got to avoid the passing game at all costs. Yeah. Let's go to midfield for the. Well, the Hawks get to call it. And we won the toss. And which way is the wind blowing? I can't really tell. Straight down the middle, I think. Yeah, well, we'll pick this end, I guess. Lights are on. Oh, they chose to receive. It's an easy game, right? Well, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Hey, anyway. man, I'm, I'm just using your rule of thumb. Yeah, I know. So we're going to select our defensive audibles like usual. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Trying to remember what you're doing here. Well, I'm trying to uh, fall into a routine of things that are going to work for me. I see. And I haven't really figured that out yet with this playbook, right? <clears throat> it's not like the offense where I already know what I want to do. So they just have, uh, when, when the coach uh, has Bo Jenkins walk out there, he's like, okay, when you're out there practicing on the field, pretend like you're going to throw a play-action pass to get the crowd pumped up. All right? Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like an entire fucking game of this. <laughs> yeah, pantomiming the handoff. Yeah. All right, let's see what they've got. Well, the odds are you're probably... Wow. who the hell is this guy? He's, he's actually uh, the guy that's been with the team forever, right? Oh, and then they've got Richard and then Cherry. Got Cherry from the Royals. Right? Cherry's such a jobber quarterback. Well, he's got an 83 overall rating. He's not bad. I'd have him on my team. Yeah, they've got this Caldwell yeah, guy. Yeah, Lorenzo Caldwell. That's who it is. He's a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, he's not the speediest guy in the world, but he's got enough speed and he can break tackles and do all kinds of bad things like that. It's like their fifth string wide receiver is the speed guy. Yeah. But he's also weak and uh, a moron. Okay, well, we're probably not going to see him very much. We'll check in the second half to see where he is in the depth chart then. But I think I can probably go with my normal game plan to start things off. They got an injury at left tackle. Oh, yeah, their middle linebackers are strong. Yeah, well, and the right outside linebacker, too, right? But that's okay, because you run the opposite direction more often than not anyway. <laughs> What's their strong safety look like? 
yeah, he, he looks like he's a pretty good player, too. Yep. Okay, well, here we go. You're kicking it away to start the game. The kicking game. it out of bounds to start the game. Booming kick downfield. See, I can't tell which Mills this is. He's number 45 Mills. Okay, so he's cornerback Mills. So they have first and ten here. Polwa, the deep back. Going to the air on first down. On the move. <laughs> wow. That was pretty chintzy. Yeah, that was a uh, thing where that guy magically knew exactly when to turn around, right? Yeah, that was cut off way early. Yeah, well, did you see that defensive lineman? But whoever number uh, Pete there escaped through the middle of the line. Yep. And was chasing the quarterback, right? Ah. He can't wrap him up. Ooh. <laughs> Stops him at the well, thankfully, okay. we had our linebackers back there. Yeah, really. Wow, that was close. I can't believe uh, our free safety missed that one. But he took a really bad angle there, too. Yeah. I think that was almost a scripted one. I don't know. I haven't seen any uh, extremely bad... Only one man in the backfield. Um plays yet though like i saw in a couple of uh our favorite football commentators videos today oh ryan moody yeah like the one where you had four um guys cartwheeling ahead end over end yep yep or the one guy just dragging like six tackles behind him yeah so ridiculous yeah that college game looks like it's a real sorry mess EA can't make a football game to save their lives. Not anymore, anyways. This was the best they ever got. This and Madden 04. I don't see anybody to cover out in the middle there. That's because they left everyone in the block. <laughs> they literally left everyone in the block. Yeah, see, I was playing that guy because basically what I'm doing is I'm playing the run, right? Okay. And uh, if there, if it happens to be a pass, then I'll just drop straight back in the middle and look for somebody to cover, right? Yep. Oh, come on. Yeah. That's uh, number 51 making the tackle there. We got so many number 50s whatever's on the field now because half I a fucking the, defensive team is yeah, made of linebackers. I think, I think that was Edwards, actually. Yeah. Middle linebacker. I, I can't tell from all the numbers anymore. And that one's going to go in the end zone, I hope. No. Nope. Ah. <laughs> well, you're going to start in a little bit of a hole today. Yep. <laughs> wow. Changing the play now. They're playing a 3 4 defense. Ooh, you should have thrown to the left guy instead. He was open. I was trying to throw it backwards to uh, the uh, to Marshall there. Yeah. But it just didn't come out right. No. You're going to be th third down punting here very likely because... Uh, Probably. Because I think this is one of those scripted events where they make you punt out of your own end zone. So unless you make a first down here, I think you're kicking it down the middle of the field. Because they're going to sit back and play a zone defense here, probably. Yep. Oh, oh. come on! Huh. I think you better challenge that fumble. What are the odds? The, the running back with the 99 carrying rating gets fucking... Yeah, that is the fumble animation, though, right? He's but down. His, but his elbow was on the ground before the ball came out, I think. He's right. completely down. But just watch. I mean, I mean he, he technically can't hit the ground because yeah. uh, well, that no, guy's the, in the way. You know why the ball came out? Because his elbow hit the ground and that knocked the ball out. 
But why didn't he just scoop it back in? Like, he was right there with his arm on it already. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, well, at least you'll get a chance to kick it away. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly ridiculous. Yeah. But you should be able to get, like, a good 60-yard punt out of this. Oh my, look at that. It just stopped dead right there. Yep, they're just going to get every good, every good break. Yep, they're getting every good bounce and every good break so far, okay? Wow. Yeah, I think this is the hardest game we've had in preseason, potentially. Well, so far... Huh. Yeah. Number 52 brings him down at the 49 yard line. Nice read. At least the safety was there. The safety didn't bite on that. Ball at midfield. The backs are lined up in an eye. McGuire sends a man in motion. Pull up. I'm getting awfully tired of this play action shit. Go safety. <laughs> boy, oh boy. That was a good read of the quarterback. That's what you need to do when you're playing center field. I'm just happy that linebacker I chose for that position can do that. <laughs> set with only one back behind him. Well, maybe they'll play action themselves into a dead drive here. With the pass, and the catch is made. Thomas makes the stop at the 43. McGuire will be facing a third down now after that pass next six. Colwell, the lone back, looking upfield. They'll go with a play pick. Oh, come on! Boy, I could challenge that catch. I don't know, should I? It looked like it might be. That was a shoestring catch. I think that's the right thing to do. As we get set to take another look at the play, it appeared that the ball hit the ground. I heard two two clicks there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it hit the ground. Under the ball and made the catch. But remember, there has to be clear visual evidence in order to reverse the call. Right? I don't know. You see the way it turns end over end? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Screw you, Maguire. The man in motion. Caldwell. Jefferson makes the tackle. That was surprisingly good against the run, actually. You weren't <laughs> expecting it to be? Well, I mean, that's not what really that play is intended for, right? I guess it depends, too, on how aware and alert your players happen to be at the time. Yeah, they're leaving everybody in the block, eh? The one-man pass route. Yeah, it's the one-man pass route. Excellent recognition by the receiver, leading the coverage and adjusting his routes accordingly. Option routes are receiving routes designed to take advantage of the coverage. It's up to both the receiver and the quarterback to make the same read. If the receiver reads zone, but the quarterback reads man, you can see passes going right to defender. And off to the tailback, Wade makes the tackle at the 18. Gain of about a yard. We'll have to get to the 10 to convert. And 
Are you going to hold them to a field goal after this? I hope so. Knock on not wood wood. I hope so. Maybe they have an absolutely garbage kicker. Rookie kicker with 60 kick power. It's hard to say. Could not leave everybody in the block again? Probably. That's why I'm bringing two from that side. Pressure coming. Throwing on the run. Oh, there's a pick. <laughs> That's yep. Nipper. See, playing robber there. Yeah, no, he's playing a uh, uh, curl flat. Okay. But notice though that like I've shifted the line over this way because I know it's an obvious passing down, and the linebacker and the cornerback are both blitzing, right? Yep. Yep. So I managed to tie up the tackle, and there's the running back picking up one of the the cornerback there, and the linebacker runs around the back and forces him to run away. Yep. And he throws it right at the safety who's playing in the zone over there, the short zone. Yeah, and he might only have thirty catching, but uh, he <laughs> well, got the job done that time. You know what? We denied them after all those fluky, lucky bounces and stuff like that. So we have first and ten. Yeah. That's why you blitz. <laughs> what run defense? Mm -hmm. What a run, hitting them a first down. The offensive line dominated the defensive line there, and they sprang the runner. Mills moves in motion. Well, see, usually I have more trouble against this type of defense running wide, but you don't seem to have that much trouble doing that, right? Another run. Well, it depends on if that tight end actually does his job or not, too. Yeah, but you still manage to turn that inside and pick up a few, right? Changing the play now. Mill, the man in motion. They'll go with a run once again. Number 50. Just can't block that linebacker. At the 30 yard oh. line. Gain of about a yard. Yeah, okay, we'll just try this. Yeah, well, it is a running situation, right? Well, you got you got tight end against. Well, okay, you are passing. Man. Now, now. Rhodes. Makes the stop at the forty-six yard line. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here, but this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. Looks like he's changing the play. He'll get it again. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> Not exactly the result I was looking for. No, but you did manage to get a couple out of that when that probably would have been nothing normally. See, these guys are going to put up a bit of resistance just because they have a good defense, right? Number 86, in motion. Oh, you found a little crack up the middle there. Yep, that's why you have the dive play in the playbook. Ah. Yeah, Rand Brack broke a tackle there too for a little extra yardage. Mill comes in motion. Hands it off to the back. Oh, okay. He's not going to run over anybody, especially not that strong safety. <laughs> Nope, but that's okay. Yeah. He, Again, you got positive yards, right? He allowed uh, Kelvin Allen to uh, get his rest. Yeah. Anytime that you end up in a third and less than 10, I mean, I think you're still okay, right? Jenkins with a man in motion. Because, oh, this could be big. Ooh, look at this. Oh. 
because most, even in a third and less than 10 situation, most of your passes are designed to get 10 yards, right? Yep. So if you get even third and eight, third and seven, you're, you're still, you still have a pretty good chance to make a first down in those situations. Number 86, the motion man. That's a face mask. Yeah. Well, now you got it on the two. You. That's what happened there. He unloaded and he got it to clear. The officials are signaling that he grabbed the face mask. Sometimes the defender will do whatever it takes to get a guy down. This time he got caught pulling him down. The merciless back. running attack. Hey, I've passed the ball. Yeah. I'm about to do another pass. <laughs> Look at this pass. Number 86. Parkman, yeah. <laughs> Parkman is a leading receiver for this team. Yeah. Well, he's got another touchdown run. <laughs> Carrying a defender on his back as he crosses the goal line. A defensive lineman, no less. Yeah. Bad things happen when you go to the air. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a good drive. We needed that after that interception at our in our shadow of our own goal line. Yeah, you gave that one to me. Well, no, you you drove the ball 84 yards <laughs> after that. Yeah, but it was okay. It was just, you know, a couple yeah. of run plays. Yeah. All I did was stop them from scoring. From the one-yard line. Ready now for the first play of the drive, and the defense will be looking for another pick. Yeah, well, that dive play, that's what works against the 3-4 type defenses, right? So they have first and ten here. Or at least it can work. Yep. They'll go from the I formation. McGuire with a man in motion. Oh! <laughs> Big tackle there that didn't end well. That ended really well. <laughs> I'm really happy with the way that ended. We'll do a mirror of that now. They line up in the I formation. Under <laughs> wow. That's Ben French getting the sack. Ben French gets the sack. Okay, it looks like they've got a big set out there, but I'm going to play this anyhow. Well, they still have three receivers in the line, and their tight ends have 70-some-odd speed, right? So you ought to be careful. I'm just going to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm just going... I was said I was just going to play that really deep. I was playing four deep zone plus one man on the outside, right? Well, that's okay. Dwayne Matthews is qualified to play the position. We have a solid backup in that position. Yeah, it looks like he's going to possibly get a little bit of extra playing time in this game. The home team couldn't maintain possession of the ball on their last punt return. What? When did that happen? I have no idea. Here's the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. Do you remember a fumble? No. Maybe, maybe they're getting started with the the smoke yeah, maybe. up in the... Yeah, well, or maybe they're trying to make it happen or something, right? Yeah. Mill, the man in motion. There's that gap. They just let me put him over there. Yeah. Hand it off. That nobody. How how did none of those three linemen there block that guy? I swear, some of these stops are just are just like scripted. Oh, he's out for the game at least. And he watches so much tape that he actually anticipates what. So I guess the big guy is going to get his shot shot this game. Yep. Jenkins with a man in motion. Again, nobody blocked that linebacker, eh? Allen couldn't get out of the backfield. 
that was just a defensive line getting lower than the offensive line. When your defensive guys up front can control the line of scrimmage, it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Tucks it away. They'll go with a play fake. Oh, that was almost a fumble. Wow. I couldn't get away in time. Yeah. Really affect his rhythm with the receiver. Yeah, play action. You know what? I figured out why the blocking breaks down so quickly on play action passes. Oh, yeah. And I'm already looking ahead to next season. But you know what the, the offensive line is doing on a play action pass? They're run blocking. Yeah. So what I did just for the hell of it is I changed all the blocking assignments for the offensive line from run blocking to pass blocking. And right away, the protection is much better. Huh. So I'm going to play around with that a little bit yet. Just to see if... Uh, it's play action can be made more viable. Play action can be made more viable just by getting better blocking, right? That's such a simple statement. Such a simple statement to make. Play yeah. action can be made more viable by getting better blocking. Oh, he broke it. Oh, jeez. He broke that tackle. Yeah, and I'm not going to catch him. I want, too bad I couldn't hit stick him once he got in the end zone. I yeah, that was, that was a do. defensive lineman tackle that he broke. Yeah, I don't know what you can do, though. When the, when the dice roll comes up touchdown, sometimes there's just nothing you can do. Yeah, it's just going to happen. Then there's You can't... Because I had plenty of people up front there, right? Yep. yep. You know, that well, was... I, think, I think that was actually the second attempt at a scripted run that game. Yeah, yeah, they tried, and they, did, and they failed on the first one, right? Yeah. Okay, well, they got their scripted run. Now maybe they'll fuck off and stop doing it you know our, our defensive linemen are at the point in this game now too where they've all got like almost 99 tackling right yeah that being said that guy is a good player but still you know the the idea is the safeties are supposed to be back there to prevent that and they were totally out of position right Him down at the 25. Mm, kind of a shitty spot this there. This is a tough physical team that likes to run the ball in just about any situation. When you can run the ball consistently, it really wears I mean, down I had as many lines. people in the box as they've got right now. Jenkins with right? man in motion. Come on, you guys. Oh, they just, there was a numbers game. They had nine guys in the box, and you only had eight guys up front. Yeah, but to what block. should happen is this guy should block this guy. This yeah. guy should block this guy. This guy should be the free guy. Yeah. Well, and, and he also, doesn't, he oh, doesn't block. At, yeah, he's going yeah. back to the left side of the formation because the imaginary or the invisible red line that connects him to his blocking assignment didn't break no he's trying to block the safety yeah but that's if you'd have left him if well, he did... i didn't motion him this is yeah. a twin tight end formation yeah and we go back to the game. <sighs> oh well such bullshit such bullshit much wow you know what after watching a number of uh videos though this game is still better than than ncaa 25. <laughs> It is far less cheesy than that game is. <clears throat> there, I got them to man lock at least. Yeah. Yeah, you got Mills. Okay, got Marshall. you got Marshall too. Levy pulls him down at the 37. Can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. <clears throat> So we have first and ten here. Drill, drill, Jenkins sends a man in motion. Hey, hey, 
going to the air on first down. Looking downfield. Oh, he came back for it for you. At the 42. Yeah, I think my blocking broke down there. Well, yeah, basically that guy pancaked your uh, blocking back. Eh? But we'll just come out with more tight ends, and maybe that will solve the problem. Hmm. I mean, they're in a nickel. Yeah, should well, be able to run here. They have the line shifted to over though, toward the two tight ends. Three tight ends. I know, but the two tight ends on the right, though, they have the line shifted that way. He gets the carry. Well, you didn't get a block, but at least he ran the guy off the line a little bit. You know, I had to run the guy over in order to get that. Yeah, but at least uh, whoever that was there, tight end three, at least he ran that guy back off the line a little ways, right? Yeah. You know, like it looked enough, I guess it must have looked enough like a pass pattern that he, he uh, figured it was a pass, right? Or something. No, this is a bad idea. Looks like he's changing the play. Well, you better hurry up now. <laughs> Drops back. Surveying the field. Oh. Linebackers struggle to cover him. Yep. Even good linebackers. Calling an audible. Marshall goes in motion. That was the opposite shift I was expecting. Uh, I got ran into my uh, tackle there as he got pushed back. Uh, yeah, well, at least you didn't lose any yards. Yeah, maybe we can run a stretch run now. I don't know, that looks like a pretty wide formation. Jenkins sends a man in motion. Oh, Ooh, fuck. Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, he's going to feel that in the morning. I was not expecting that. Yeah, I fed him an elbow there. Yeah, I guess their safety really is something else. Yeah, bring the, the, the safety on that side down. Please do. Ooh, he almost dropped it. <laughs> well, he does have the best catching. That's why he's the third down running back. Yeah. We'll go back to our... Uh, Three tight ends here. <clears throat> See if you can e actually get a block from Sarah this time. Maybe. Or he's trying to block the free safety. Yeah, that is a cornerback that he's lined up across from. He should be able to block him. Okay, so you need to take another six and a half minutes here and then score a touchdown. <laughs> Possible. I don't know. You only have 20 yards to go. With the carry. Big hit on the ball. Well, they're playing tough against the run today, hey? Yo, I can't believe I only got two yards on that. Well, thing is, though, they're keeping those players out wide to contain. And if they're fast, then they can actually close in and make tackles before you get too far, right? Changing the play now. Oh, a nice run. It looked like they were going to cut you off, and then you managed to slip up the middle there. Yeah, they, they definitely tried. <laughs> they were trying to be smart.
Looks like he's changing the play. Number 47. Yeah. Cameron records the stop at the eight. This is a textbook type drive. And the thing is, everything they've called has worked. Even if it hasn't worked, it still worked. Yeah, eight is the magic number right now. <laughs> You've had the ball for nine minutes so far on this drive. Jenkins sends a man in motion. Boy, they have a lot of guys stacked up there. I don't think you can block everybody. <laughs> Probably not. Well, actually, it was the lineman in the middle who failed. Yeah. We had the two guys on the outside block. Yeah, surprisingly enough. I thought it was going to be one of those two guys on the outside that would be the, the trouble, right? Yeah. Well, if they don't cover him... They're going to give up a touchdown here. Unless they blitz everybody and get past all my blocking. Maybe. But if you can throw this pass, you're probably going to score a touchdown here. He's looking. Throwing. Great throw. And they literally didn't cover him. Very yep. interesting defensive call that time, John. Yeah, interesting pass. defensive <laughs> call. <laughs> yeah, let's not cover the fastest guy on the field, right? Yeah, wow. <laughs> and he is the fastest guy on the field. He yeah, actually yeah, is. Yeah, he is. He literally is the fastest guy on the field when he's out there, right? attempt the point after. The kick is up. Well, that's okay. We needed a score anyways. Yep, and we got it. Now if I can just stop them from getting another fucking cheesy one-play touchdown. I almost used 10 minutes on that drive. Yeah, you did. Like I said, you, 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 before you ran those last couple plays, you were at nine minutes already. No, I tried to hit stick him, but the other guy got there first. Yeah. <laughs> John's gonna give me shit. Oh god. Yeah, because you missed that tackle. Dropping back pass on first down. The throw. Pass goes incomplete. Number thirty four says no. That's right. No. That was tight coverage. up the coverage along the outside. They line up in the I formation. Yeah, no free one up the middle this time. They're just relentless when the offense decides to run the ball. They break down blocks very quickly. And they do a good job maintaining their gap assignments, limiting cutback opportunities. McGuire from the shotgun, looking downfield. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Wow. Here's what happened. The quarterback just didn't have a throwing lane for his pass. Like that one there, you know what that was? That's Ben French making a great play. See that? That guy tried to cut block him, and he hit the, hit yep. the quarterback just as, he, uh, just as he was trying to throw. Yep. And I got an interception. God. <laughs> Let's get back to the action on the field. The way these things work out sometimes. Okay. Oh, if... that's so bizarre, eh? Let's see if I can use up a lot of time here. Set. Jenkins sends a man in motion. Down Calling an audible down. now. Two. On the carry. Well, nobody blocked that guy. They they pretended to for a second. Yeah, they never blocked that guy. Yeah. That guy particularly. That's why he's such a good player. He, well, he pays these people a whole bunch of money, and then they don't block him. Yeah, well, now you can run it down to two minutes anyway. That's what it's got to be. He's like, I'll split half my contract with you if you don't block me this game. <laughs> hmm. A little bit of corruption going on in football. I don't know if that would be worth half of a guy's contract, but... Directing traffic. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Everybody loses their block. Oh, well. That's okay. Run the clock down. Even if, even if all you get out of this is a field goal eventually, then... Uh, 
And he's a heck of a leader. Oh, you should throw a slant here. Totally. Nah, uh, it's risky against the 3-4 because they have a hook zone in their uh, yeah. man coverage. Well, unless they blitz one of those guys on the outside, though, they've got that flat totally covered. Yeah, but I might be able to get to Marshall, maybe. Mm. Or maybe they don't. But I'm not going to make it anyways. Yeah. Well, they call the timeout, but you can bang a point-blank range field goal through. Yeah, this is actually <laughs> about extra point distance. Yeah, it is. This will be from about 20 yards out. And it's on its way through the uprights and good. <laughs> And that's two scores now. Yep. Well, and then again, if I can stop them from getting a cheesy, easy one, then, uh... Booming kick downfield. From the one. I missed him. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, that's okay. For a second straight interception. We're just about down to one minute. I don't know. Do you necessarily look for two interceptions in a row? I don't know. Right now, I'm just... My strategy is just to... Uh, try and make them uh, throw it short. Yep. Well, they only got one timeout remaining now. Yep. It's first and ten. Jacobs comes in motion. Throwing on first down. With the pass, he hits his receiver. You can hear the collision up here. He's feeling it right now. Either that or he's numb all over. And that's worse. They're going to keep it moving here. They're heading. They're trying extremely line. hard here. I think I jumped offside. I don't think you did. I think you stopped it in time. Uh, he got popped. I'll tell you one thing. He's going to feel that in the morning. Tightening up the coverage along the outside. Going to the air on first down. Slings it to the outside. That good pass rush forces the erratic pass. Yeah, he had a big arm come in right there at the last second. This has been like the most intense preseason we've ever played. Play yeah. Run. Caldwell, the long setback. Drops back. Closing in. Gets rid of it. Nice. nice. I fooled him that time. I was playing flats on both sides, eh? Oh, yeah. Sixth play of this drive. Jacob moves in motion. Pressure rolling. Oh, fucking slant pass. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move the chain. Balling and audible now. You gotta hate this slant passes. Yep. Throwing on first down. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off, and he makes no. He can't pass defense. <sighs> I think that was uh, our new left outside linebacker. Yeah. Dwayne Matthews defending that pass. Caldwell in the backfield. Number 85 goes in motion. I guess they'll try this from 10 yards further back. Five yards anyway. Oh yeah, five yards further back. They got one one timeout left, hey? Maybe they didn't like the way you lined up there. I don't know. Second and 15 here after the penalty backs them up. With the pass, a little off target, but caught. Carswell makes the, the long ass crossing road. He's trying to hurry them back to the line. That's their last timeout. So they they have to kick now. a field goal now. 
Howard leads the field goal team into the game for the attempt. The kick is up. He made that one easily. Hawks have narrowed the gap. Well, that nullifies the field goal. Well, but you know what? We're still up a score. Nice kick and returnable. From the 13-yard line. So they have first and ten here. Well, you got all the big guys out, do you? Yep. He still can't block. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, we got through that first half. Indeed. So I guess it's time for the halftime stretch. That it is. And we're back. Yes. And so far, at least the offensive numbers... Uh, we've been outplayed in this game. Yeah, they've been playing us hard. But two interceptions is the difference, I think. Yep. And the conversions into points. Yep. You just have to avoid those third down and longer than 10 situations. If you can, uh... Sends a man in motion. Wow, I thought that was going to be a loss. Yep. That guy so got a real good charge and then suddenly he just stopped, right? Yep. Hi, Al. The coach was very concerned with his defense's inability to come up with stops when they really needed them. With the team trailing, he said that it might call for some drastic measures, and that could mean a lot more blitzing. Al? Thank you. More blitzing. Yeah. More blitzing than they're already doing? <laughs> wow. This looks like a run up the middle opportunity. Looks like he's changing the play. Proud with a man in motion. He tucks it away. Oh, oh, they didn't the hold their blocks. The yep. Shouldn't have motioned that guy. That just goes to show you that the coach trusts the guy to hang Because I think that sometimes that doesn't help. It just screws the blocking patterns up, right? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot to do my subs here. Yeah. Sub in green. Fullback, sub in uh, Brandon, wide receiver, sub in, who the hell is he? Herman. Herman, 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 Herman. Tight end, sub in Sarah. Well, this is the right type of run play here. Yeah. To carry it. Oh, he made it. I didn't think you would for a second there, but I just kept pushing forward there. Yep. And hoping, praying. Coach, if you need two yards, I'll give you two yards. And the coach asked him, "What if I need six yards?" He said, "I'll give you two yards." <laughs> I love that one. Yeah. I'll get you two yards, no matter what you need. Green sends a man in motion. White. Oh, almost broke that one. Yep, I just couldn't get past that last guy. Yep. Unstoppable force makes an immovable object. Yep, the unstoppable force won that one. Fifth play of this drive. One yard to go. Green with a man in motion. White. Oh. Just enough. 
They're going to keep testing. Oh, just oh, enough. Really? Just enough. Oh, Show me what just enough looks like again, motherfucker. Oh, that was terrible. I think you got cheated on that spot, too, right? Wow. Yeah, I think you're right. They've done very well. That was terrible. Terrible ball spot. It was just enough. Just enough of a terrible ball spot. Even Al thought you had enough. Oh, yeah. I think you're going to have to audible to the spread and throw short curls every now and then. No, I think what I should be doing is going for it on fourth down to shove it up these guys' ass. That's what I should be doing. Hmm. Because I don't know how you can have, like, totally outnumber them in terms of linemen on that side, and that guy still doesn't get blocked somehow. It's a dice roll. Right? They don't look at the actual positions of the players on the field. They look at uh, the formations, and then they do a random dice roll to determine success or failure of the play. Yeah, basically. You know, like, you're not getting, you know, I mean, this was early days for football, but this is no way this is ever... Uh, anything close to a simulation football game, right? Okay, we got that guy. Okay, we'll swap those two around. Okay, Perry is sitting down for the rest of the game. Okay. Right. Put your fastest guy in the slot. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to give Gooden a rest here. And we're going to put, uh... Who is that, Miller? No, he's, no. A, he's a free safety. Who cornerbacks? Hasty. Hasty. Isn't he already on the field? Nope. Yeah, he was. No, he is now. Mills for Hasty. Okay. All right. So we got Hasty Jones Mills, right? Yep. And then Thomas and Gooden. On the bright side, they won't have McGuire back there at quarterback anymore. Yeah. Not unless you hurt this guy. I wasn't having a great deal of trouble, though, with the passing game. It was the, that long run, basically, that... Yeah, the bullshit that, long that run. ...that accounted for the... You know, they've got 10 points, and all they managed on for honest offense was a, was a field goal, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I guess that's what we're going to go with for now. Let's get back to the play on the field. <laughs> Well, they're inside the 20 here at least. So they have first and 10 here. The defense is going to play this one very tight. They line up in the I formation. Going to the air on first down. Slings it to the I think wow. you just hit that guy in the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you complete that short pass? Pass defense. It's soccer out there now. Yep, yeah, that's using your head. They'll play things tighter on the outside. Hardy har. Robinson, the man in motion. Mark. Oh, no, you don't. You see how poor the pursuit angle at uh, number 23 took, though? Yep. Like, look at this. He's, he's way, way inside. He's way over here, and he's pursuing behind the guy. He should be out here. Right? Yep. I agree. Like, if, if, that, if that free safety had missed that tackle, that was a touchdown. Yep. And we're back. And that's exactly what happened the other time. Yep. It's first and ten. So I'm going to play man under three now. Just to make sure I have an extra guy in the middle. From the I formation. Mark. Number 50. Records the stop at the 31. They went with the running It's sad that even has to be done. Find some room it's all I can do, secondary. right? If I have an extra safety in the middle, then... You know, like they can do whatever dumb shit they want, but at least I'll still have, you know, an extra guy there, right? Yep. 
good thing you had him because offensive linemen pancake two safeties there. Yeah, they're trying to do everything they can to get that uh, long yeah, run. Yeah, they're, for they're a touchdown. trying to they're trying to get a long run for a touchdown again. Yeah, for sure. Smart lines up behind his fullback in the eye. I think that was a broken handoff. Yeah. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Yeah, something happened in, on the line of scrimmage to break that play there. Happens to us sometimes, too. I guess it's only fair it happens to them once in a while. Yeah. Oh, they got the... They're going with a form of bunch formation here. Give it to the halfback. Thomas pulls him down at the 44 yard line. However, wide receivers are not good run blockers. Yep. Will help the offense dictate the pace of the game. Here is a third and long situation. The corners move up to play this one tight. Quarterback back in the shotgun. Drops back, gets rid of it. Oh, jeez! I, I don't think I don't think I don't. Yeah, I don't think I got a jam there at all. Right? You didn't. Yeah. Yeah. He Nothing. just escaped him. Yeah. So he just ran right by him, and about all I could do there was just not give up a big play. Right. Yeah, that was not good coverage. Not well played. No. But there's nothing you can do. Right. It's a dice roll thing. Mark, the lone back. Cherry sends a man in motion. Aimed it off to the back. Number 50 is the guy who's there to bring him down. At the 37-yard line. Just about a three-yard game. Ninth play of this drive. They need wow, seven. are they getting good spots. Yeah, and we've been getting bad. Like, that, that last drive ended because you got a bad spot. Mark, the lone right. back. He gets the carry. Carswell makes the tackle at the 31. He gets a couple of yards on the carry, but he looks fatigued and is headed for the sideline. One yard to go. Yes! Brings him down at the 31 yard line. Well, hopefully he misses this one. It isn't a chip shot, that's for sure. This one, I think, might be a little out of his range. And it's up. Yeah. Not the result he was looking for. So they have first and ten here. Number 47, the man in motion. Hands it off to the back. Okay. Yeah, you should have kept going the way you were. Well, I wasn't trying to go that way, but the tackle got pushed backwards there. What I wanted to do was go in between the tackle and the guard because there was a hole there. Clogging up the line, limiting the number of holes and cutback lanes that the back has to choose from. Coleman comes in motion, calling an audible now. Yeah, fuck these guys. Yeah, show them something they haven't seen before, right? Looks like he's changing the play. God, I hope that's a linebacker covering White. Steps up, heaving it over the middle. That was really off target. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I had it, but it was off target. Yeah. Ah. Uh, well, maybe though, if you do that, they'll stop crowding the line, eh? Come out of the nickel tackle. 
Green sends a man in motion. Receives the handoff. Big hit there. He was run over by a truck. Yeah, <laughs> two-ton truck pulling a trailer. Game is three. play of this drive so as they get set to try to convert here's what both teams have done on third down. they got the quarter third defense out there usually a good barometer of how well your offense is playing it means your offense is making big they're going to bring a house game. blitz they just snuck the middle safety up yep with the pass <laughs> they brought everybody all right Every time, every time they line up in the corner, this is the only play they call out of that fucking formation, I swear. It's such a get dead giveaway. Yeah. Calling an audible. Jefferson, the motion man. Yeah, I totally snapped it there when that guy was making his motion to the inside there in hopes that that tight end might pick him up. Yeah. Well, you picked up five yards. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. The more he gets the ball, the better he does. expect to see him get quite a few touches here as the game winds down. Coleman comes in motion. Hand it off. Why he couldn't find an opening was I don't know why my uh, guard there couldn't ma make any kind of advancement forward. You don't have a very good offensive line in front of you right now. Right? These are all the scrubs that are out there right now. Well, it is what it is. We'll just do this. We got easily on the right. Yeah. Looks like they moved someone over there, though. It might mess up his route. It might. Or he surveys the field with the throw. Oh, this one falls incomplete. A crowd of defenders right there waiting for the pass. You can kick this field goal. You can. It's within his range. You just have to allow for that strong crosswind. Come on for this field goal attempt. No, I can't. I can't kick this field goal. We're just going to stop trying from this oh. distance. See, if you'd have been just a we're, tiny bit more... We're just going to stop trying. I, and you know, it's better to go on fourth down at that distance, I'm telling you. Hmm. If we give it to them at the 30, it's not that different from giving it to them at the 20. Mark lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Especially with how competitive these guys have been. Right records the stop at the 39. So a gain of about one. Second and nine coming up here. Tightening up the coverage along the outside. Mark in the backfield. Sherry sends a man in motion. Gets the delayed handle. Can't get from behind. That was another one of those runs where a lineman missed a tackle. Yeah, I know. We're we're struggling out there a little bit. This is the case of studying game film this week paying off. You know what they like to run in certain situations. Well, that's okay. We're in the fourth quarter now. And they'll face a long third down here. Press coverage on the outside. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Under pressure with the pass, and it's caught. And they'll be punting. The no, nope, they're going to go for it. Yep. So they need about three here. They'll play things tighter on the outside. Situation where they just have to go for it. Swings it out to his running back. Yeah. The collision. That was a good team effort there. Right yep. Either that or he's numb all over. And that's worse. 
So we have first and ten here. <laughs> No, oh, that was so off target. They were playing one deep. The guy on the left is the guy you got. I was trying to throw it to the guy on the left there, but I got that stupid running backwards throwing the ball animation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know. Wow. I was trying to throw it to the guy on the left. Well, looks like Green needs a little work yet. Then. Yeah, he's not a great quarterback yet. He has potential. Nice. Yeah, we needed that one. Yep. Because you need another 10 yards before you can kick a field goal. <laughs> I need like 20 yards before I can kick a field goal. I don't know what yardage you're counting. Mm. No, I couldn't throw it. I tried. I tried to throw it. It just wouldn't let me. Yeah, I think they had everybody covered anyway. Well, I was looking because I saw a uh, white run out of the curl flat zone there. Yeah. I was trying to throw it to him, but it game just wouldn't let me. Game's just like, nope, you're getting sacked. Now in second and long. Well, now it must be time to try and run the ball. Defense lines up in the nickel. Jefferson in motion. Or throw a flat pass to White. Yeah, maybe. Dropping back. Yep. Gets the pass off. Nope. Right nope. <laughs> they're playing. They're playing a flat zone with the corner on that side. Had a big game so far. <laughs> Third down, and they have to get it to the 23 to convert. Time back in for this play. Coleman, the motion man. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Oh, yeah. Levy. Well, now you could kick a field goal from here. You, you need to be able to kick field goals from this range. No, I don't. They'll line up for the kick, and it should be about a 43-yard attempt. There you go. You nailed that one. And it's up. Plenty of distance on that one. Good kick. The home team. Now enjoy a 2 touchdown. <laughs> The home team are ready to kick this one off. Well, at least gives us a score back. Yeah, well, you know what? That pass was a big play, right? Didn't get you a first down, but it got you yardage that you needed kick, set up for the return. when you were in a bit of a hole. From the five. To the 20. Baltimore needs two scores to get back <sighs> to this one. First and ten. But well, that's why those slot streaks are good sometimes. Yep. I make use of them too. started off going east and west, which isn't bad, but then it got worse and it went south. They're going with a form of bunch formation here. Ah. <laughs> There's Alan Hardy getting a sack again. <laughs> he's gotten a whole ton of them preseason. Yeah, he's, he's gotten all, by a mile. He's gotten a ton of sacks in the preseason, yeah. He'll be a quality player at the end of it. After the sack, they'll be looking at third and long here. They'll play things tighter on the outside. Well, I'm going to play three deep zones in the middle. And just uh, get a face mask penalty. Oh, come on! 
Oh, that's Danny Jones getting the face mask I penalty. can't believe that. My God. <laughs> that is so cheesy. What timing. Corners are moving up to press the receivers. The backs are lined up in an eye. That was a total garbage way to get a first down. Like, wow. Oh, wow. Alan Hardy sacks him again. And they get he gets some of those yards back. Yeah. And he combines that with a very quick first step. I don't know how the hell he gets so many sacks. Neither do well, basically this this particular arrangement oh it's rid of it looked like he got up and then gave the guy a hit anyways yeah 33 yard line small game now looking at third and long this is where the defense well man under three again good job to get him in this situation tightening up the coverage along the outside mark the lone back dropping back with the throw and it's complete oh come on i can't believe that I can't challenge that? Nope. Because we're all out of challenges. Are we? Oh. We are. There's I been would... a lot of cheese in this game. There's been some really, really sh crap ball spots and stuff like that. Like, it seems like they're getting an extra yard and we're getting one less yard every play. Every play. You want someone there to tell you to watch out because he just got decked. Gain of a handful. They have to get the ball inside the 45 to convert for the first down. Well, it's that home field disadvantage, right? Yeah. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. And well, that was slick. Pulls him down at the 37 yard line. Cherry with a hot hand on this drive. And what he's doing is sitting Well, I'm not giving up on man under three until they get close enough that it doesn't matter. To the right guy. He's playing very well right now. That's not a bad result. Nope. I'm not going to complain about that at all. First down marker just inside the 27. The defense is going to play this one very tight. The backs are lined up in an eye. With the throw, and the catch is made. Slant pass. Makes the stop at the 24-yard line. Cherry has been perfect on this drive. Yeah, what happens? You get into a rhythm. The way this guy's throwing, he's going to stay in that rhythm until the defense knocks him out of it. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Throwing in and out of his hands. The back was the target, but he couldn't Well, it's pretty it hard to uh, catch a ball when you have a guy hanging off your arm. Yep. He's approved as a pass receiver, but he'll drop one of those easy ones every now and then. Mark, the lone back. Under pressure. Boom. And he's brought down in the backfield. Hardy. Got him again. And speaking of packing, he's going to be packing an ice bag in the sideline after taking that hit. It's now third and long after the sack. <laughs> Robinson in motion. Drops back. Closing in. Incomplete pass. That was a very uh, off target pass. Yeah. That's okay. If I force him to settle for a field goal here. Well, they missed the last one from three yards further back. Yeah. And it's on its way. He made this one, though. And so that kick is good. Hawks draw it within a touchdown. <laughs> Hawks are lined up for the kickoff. See, they ran 15 plays in six minutes. The kick should be returnable. If we didn't have the accelerated the clock on, they probably would have ran like 30 plays if they had been able to do that without actually scoring. Yeah, probably. Right. So we have first and ten here. Well, you're having a crap game running the ball today. Coleman, Only half production. Hand it off. 
<laughs> oh, he stepped out of bounds. <laughs> well, that'll help. Let me tell you, if he can stay healthy, he's going to have a long career ahead of him. He makes quick cuts, and he gets through the hole so fast. Nice run up the middle there. So that play goes for about six. That's why you have the dive plays. Yeah. <laughs> Coleman goes in motion. Oh yeah. Nice. Find that little gap. <laughs> The trap play. Yeah. That's how that play was actually originally designed. <laughs> well, now they're bringing everybody up to the line again. See, this is what your curls play is for, right? Because they're going to be blitzing at least two linebackers here. Or not. Oh, I just threw it right at that guy. Yeah. Second down I didn't see him there. I was more looking at uh, your guy in the slot on the left. Yeah, he was covered, though, I'm pretty sure. Right? He's got yeah. a guy right beside yeah. him. Yeah, two but of I, them. But I didn't see this guy. Yeah. But this guy was the yeah, guy I should have thrown it yep. to. You're right. Calling an audible. I think you're wasting your time bringing that extra guy over there because he never blocks anybody when you do. Yeah, but I have to try to block that linebacker. I mean, he's standing out there in space. They're in a fucking nickel formation. Why can't I run with two tight ends against a nickel formation? Yeah, really, eh? <laughs> wow. Oh, well. Easley's got single coverage on the right. Yeah, but I got the wrong running back out there because of stupid substitutions. The play clock was sticking down. First. And we can attribute this lead to their ability to convert on third down. He's looking with the throw. Perfect throw. They'll knock him out of bounds at the 36. White couldn't find a way to get Well, that was about as much as you're going to be able to get. So are you going to go on fourth down here? Yeah, maybe do it from a single back. That way, if you have to audible to a short pass, you'll have guys out there that can catch. Oh, goes with the quarterback sneak. Wow. And that's why we have those in the playbook. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that, actually. Obviously, they weren't either. No. Green with a man in motion. You can run this down to two minutes without even running this play. Yep. I think I will. <laughs> I don't like passing, but I had to in this game. What do you think? Does Baltimore look like a contender in the conference? They're tough. Or? Yeah? They're tough. I mean, mind you, we've also had a bunch of cheese and a bunch of non-blocking, but they're I tough know, anyways. But, but we experience that cheese and non-blocking and stuff pretty well every game, though, right? And most teams aren't still aren't able to uh, be competitive like these guys have been. Ah. Uh, can get it away. It here, John, most of the time you'd see a run in this situation. But that might be exactly why they're passing. You have to complete it to keep the clock moving. Just try and advance the ball. If you can get it even ahead five more yards. Green sends a man in motion. Yeah. 
is the guy who's there to bring him down. At the there, you just made them use a timeout. This is the tenth play of this drive in field goal range now. These third downs haven't been much of an obstacle, and it's helped them take the lead. Dropping back, throws it. Yeah. He makes the grab. Levy makes the stop. There's another timeout. In field goal range now. They'll make this a two possession game if they get into the end zone on this drive. Oh, yeah, you got to. Looks like he's changing the play. Run that play. Oh, look at that. They just moved that guy over. If you move Sarah, oh, no, too late now. You don't have time. Oh, you found this little gap to run through again, though. Yeah, I didn't feel bad about the way that looked. No. I was just going to say, if you could have moved Sarah back from the left to the right again, he would have taken that extra coverage guy with him, right? But you were going somewhere else altogether anyway. They're down to one timeout. That's why they're, uh, they're, they're conserving it now. Oh, that's a lineman out there. Well, that was their last time out. You should be able to just run the ball three times and run the ball, run the clock out now. And the defense has been on their heels this whole drive. Ball on the six yard line. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Just over a minute still to go. Green with a man in motion. Oh, come on. Yeah. He has to fucking sumo too when he gets out there? Yep. Uh, I would say now just kneel. Don't, don't even call a run play. Just kneel so you don't fumble or something. I just want to give Brandon his handoffs. Uh, it's not looking like it's going to be... Yeah, fuck it. We'll just kneel. They have one remaining. You can kneel, run the clock, kneel, run the clock, and then kick a field goal as the clock turns to zero, right? Because you've run them out of timeouts. At least you maintain possession in or long enough to do that. There's nothing that they can do now. Yeah, these guys played us way better than any all Madden team ever has. Yeah. It's well, kind of funny that. Like I said, I think a lot of it has to do with the coaching too, right? Yeah. And I mean, they did get that one cheesy run up the middle that was kind of, you know, I'm still a little bit bitter about that. But... Yeah, this game shouldn't be as close as it is, but uh, still, though, they did hold me to like 20 points. Yeah. And less than 200 yards rushing. He'll take a minute. There, now you could just let the clock run out, or you could, you know, kick the field goal with like three seconds left on the clock or something. Clock will run out regardless of whether you make this or not. The kick is up. He had plenty of room to spare. Well, that one was a nail biter. Yeah, that was a hell of a hard game. <laughs> this is the hardest preseason we've ever had. I don't know what was with these guys. Well, defensively, I think they played very well. You know, in the second half, you had no blocking because the offensive line basically either completely missed or or dropped their blocks. Yeah, well, I still got 14 points in the first half. Yeah. But they did also on offense, they maintained possession, like they played that possession-style game. Yeah. 
You know, like if you look at it, if you take away the long rushing yardage, well, they still played a pretty competitive game because they they managed to match us pretty much on offense, right? But look at this. They got one field goal in three trips to the red zone. Yep. So they, mo I, they moved the ball and I leaked yardage a little bit, but I managed to stop them when they got close. Yeah, and they did have a fair amount of possession time. Yeah, more than most teams do. Usually they're down around 20 minutes or slightly less. So there's Bo Jenkins with a good quarterback rating and Lake Green who uh, maybe struggled just a little bit, right? But Bo got the touchdown pass too. And Calvin Allen had almost 100 yards in this game. But White is the guy that kind of, that's why you were having a little bit of trouble rushing because this guy in the first three games actually made a fairly good contribution. Yeah, well, and, he still did this game, but, like, I don't know, just the way they lined up in the second half was stupid. Yeah. So, anyway. 3.7 still ain't a bad average. Yeah, and also even Allen's 4.5, that's lower than usual, too, right? Yep. <clears throat> but you did get one long run of 27 yards from Allen. And it looks like uh, White caught lots of passes... And nobody else really caught very many. Yeah, at basically all. the running backs. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's the White and Allen show out there. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how that impacts some of our uh, position battles. Benji Rhodes had the longest completion. Okay, well. And Tom Platt at right outside linebacker had a very busy day. Yeah, that's a odd name to see up there. Yeah, well, because I was playing almost exclusively that 3-3 nickel with the five guys lined up way back deep in the yep. second half, yep. right? Once they burned me with that run up the middle, I started playing the extra safety in the middle back there. Because that way, at least if the two outside guys went durr, then I've still got one guy in the middle there. Yep. Ridiculous that you should have to, but it yeah. is what it is. Well, it is what it is. That's kind of why I played the 82 defense two seasons ago too, right? Yep. Because I wanted five guys back off the line so that uh, they could have all the short plays they wanted, but they couldn't get any big ones. So anyway, we got a few tackles for losses. Brad Lewis there. That wasn't a bad one half of football either, right? Yep. For a defensive end. And, of course, Alan Hardy with three sacks. And they were pretty key plays, too. He might be player of the game. He might be again, yeah. That would be three times in a row. <laughs> and then Robo with an interception, a rare... He didn't even get a tackle in this game, but he got an interception. Yep. Yeah. For zero yards. And we had quite a few pass defenses, too. Yep. But yeah, definitely the interceptions were big, right? So you only missed that one field goal, though. You were three for four, right? And the only one you missed was the was the longest one. Yeah, it was just, I don't know. I mean, um, I definitely uh, find kicking in a real game to be hard. It's Because the thing is, when you're kicking in the drill, you can kick over and over and over again, right? Yeah. And you got time to adjust and feel how the kicking meter is. But if you've only used the kicking meter like once before in a game and you haven't adjusted to it, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, look at that. Cherry only passed for 66 yards, but he had a better quarterback rating than McGuire. Because McGuire threw two interceptions. Because McGuire threw two interceptions. Yep. But I think that was also a symptom of that he was throwing the ball away when he was under pressure instead of taking the sack, right? Yep. Whereas Cherry took, took, the, sack. took the sack instead of throwing the ball away, right? Yep. They both had a long pass of 16 yards. <clears throat> and Caldwell carried the ball 10 times. Right? You take away that 83-yarder, and he had nothing. Take away that 83-yarder, we also beat them in rushing yardage. Yeah. You know, like... Uh, 103, 23 yards in 9 attempts, right? Yep. So... He was basically, except for that one play, he got nothing. Yep. 
He was getting two yards of carry, except for that one long play, right? Pretty much. And this guy actually did a little better, but he was still got less than four yards per carry. Yep. And he had a long run of 15. Yeah, that was that one where he broke a tackle at the line of yeah. scrimmage. So they actually ran the ball 21 times. Probably 22, because like you say, I think that was a broken play. I think so too. And they passed 30 times. So I guess their, their offense was fairly balanced too, right? Yep. I can't say that I have too much bad to say about them. And I can be uh, all salty about that long run all I want and call it cheese and all that kind of stuff. But the fact is they managed to play a competitive game, right? In spite of that, even if you take that play away, they still played us better than anybody else. Yep. Yeah, they're tough. So I have to say I'm impressed. And if this is any indication, so it looks like they got, they sacked you once. Right? 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, 11 tackles for a loss again, right? Yeah, and how many times did I run the ball? Um, well, let's see here. Rushing, uh, 35, 37, 41. 42, technically, I guess. Yeah. Because I did run the ball with green once. Okay. 42. 40, 42. And that was against uh, 22 pass attempts. So, yeah, that was, you know, like your, your play selection was pretty typical. It's just that you weren't having the success that you usually have. <laughs> Although I would say that statistically speaking, you still didn't have a bad game. Yeah. Right? You know, I mean, if you can manage to amass... 165 yards on the ground. I still don't think you had. A, I don't think you had a bad game. No, it was a terrible game. You <laughs> missed the thousand-yard rushing mark in the uh, preseason. Yes, you did. Who's the player of the game? Oh, Kelvin Allen is the player of the game because he uh, also had four catches for 27 yards and a touchdown. Nice. So there you go. We went through the preseason, and uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll pause briefly to avoid the saving screen here, and then we'll have a look at our. Uh, Advancement, what do you think? All right. Okay. And we're back to view progression. Yep, we're going to view progression. And uh, we did not get an improvement uh, at come quarterback. Come on, Green. Uh, we're canning him next season. Yeah. However, White did improve a little bit. Let's take a look here. Okay. So it looks like he gained four points of awareness. Well, that's nice. Carrying, that's what I care about. Yeah, did he gain any of that? Got some blocking, too. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe you, Green. After everything we did for you. Yep, you played him lots and You're gave him an canned. opportunity, and he didn't do You're getting anything. getting canned. Well, no, see, what'll happen is Krause will retire, and then Green might end up being the number two guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, we didn't get enough carries and stuff to Brandon, so he didn't improve. Then we've got... Uh, no improvement at wide receiver. Ugh. Oh, Sarah improved a bit, though. Well, he needed to. No nope. catching, though. No. Nope. Oh, no well. blocking. Hmm. Easily get better at blocking? No. Well, the way they were blocking out there, do you really think they were going to get better? Nobody got better. Oh, wait a minute. You had somebody get better. No, that was at left end. Literally the only person who got better the whole fucking time we were on the field was White. Wow. This is the worst pre this is worse than the last preseason we had. This yeah. is the worst preseason we've ever had for advancement. After all that rushing yardage attained. Yeah, you'd think that the halfbacks would all improve a great deal anyway, just from success. Yeah. Right? It just can't be helped. Well, at least White's going to hold on to the ball now. Yeah. Well, his Although he didn't fumble his, all preseason. So. His carrying improved, did it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Hardy improved by five points. Wow. Nice. It's a good thing that wasn't a position battle because Ben French would have lost. 
Well, that's okay, though. Hardy needed to get better. However, that being said, Ben French is a better player in every way, right? The Hardy was the player who was supposed to initially start at that position. Yeah. Well, it's encouraging to see the backup do well. But he picked up 15 points of awareness, too. Wow. Yep. Okay. Brad Lewis improved a bit. That's always good news. Yeah. Oops. And we got no improvement at defensive tackle. Hey! But, but Matthews, Matthews. Matthews improved. He gained a whole bunch of... Okay, it says there he gained 10 points of awareness. But he has 14 but he, points. He, he went from 50 to 64. <laughs> game can't math. Yeah, the game can't math. And he improved his tackling a little bit, too. He went from 68 to 71, so he gained two points. Well, right? you know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> Again, the game can't math. Okay. So we didn't get any improvement at middle linebacker or at right outside linebacker or at cornerback. Well, our advancement sucks. Yeah. Oh, right improved a little bit the rookie right yeah he got a little smarter and the other rookie did not what did right okay. get better at here well with his plus 10 to he, 69 he, yeah he gained uh he gained some awareness apparently but uh he didn't really gain anything else i think it all came from awareness and Costanza did not improve, and Wilkes did not improve. So there you go. Yes, I think all in all, you have to say that it was probably a complete and total crap preseason for us. Yeah, really. I, I, I really expected better because we had a lot of like non-drop passes too, right? Like we had a really consistent receiving percentage. Yeah. I don't know what the hell they use to judge advancement. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Does this mean now that Rhodes is going to be... Uh, Wide receiver four. I don't have any idea. Well, Coleman got five catches for 65 yards, and Rhodes got five catches for 67 yards, right? Yep. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out. And according to this, whoops, uh, Terry Walker got three pancakes. But I think if I were you, I'd play Joe Winters anyway. Yeah, I think I'm going to start Joe Winters anyways. So it looks like you got... Um, at cornerback, we've got Thomas and Mills, right? Yep. And at cornerback two, Thomas, got Thomas and, Mills. and Mills. So I have a feeling that it's going to be Thomas and Mills. Thomas and Mills at cornerbacks one and two. Fuck. And then I'm not sure where Jones and Gooden are going to fit into this, but I guess we'll find out. We're gonna have some depth chart fixing to do, I think. Probably. So it looks like Carswell, hands down, won the free safety position. That's no surprise. <clears throat> so that's it. So anyway, I guess next week we begin the regular season. Indeed. And hopefully we don't have to play Baltimore again for a while. Yeah, wow, that was terrible. <laughs> I couldn't believe how terrible that was. Yeah, that was tough. Anyway, I guess we'll see you next time. Till then... I'm RecV5. And I am Sandman99. Have a good one.